Disclaimer, do not try this ever. This is dangerous and could cause serious injury or death. This is your warning and by no means is American Piddler or its affiliates responsible for your actions. Enjoy the show. All right, guys, welcome back to American Piddler. This will be our third episode. First and foremost, I got to tell you, I wasn't planning on filming today, but you guys hitting that like button, subscribing, leaving me comments down below and asking for it is why you're getting it before I planned on it. It's uh, Thursday afternoon. I planned on probably having it done next Thursday, but I'm doing it for you guys. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to build a forge burner, full blown full bore, simple how-to, and I went out today and I found all American parts. We're going to build this with American-made parts, so it's a little bit more expensive. I have the price breakdown for you uh, to show you what, what it costs to build this burner, and uh, I'll have a link down below where you can get the high-pressure regulator. That's, that's a pretty important thing uh, in this build. You've got to have a, a, a high-pressure regulator. Your regular grill regulator won't get it done. But we're going to run through it. I'm going to bring you in a little closer up to the, the workbench here and show you what this pile of parts looks like. And we're going to get after it. This is what we got right here, guys. Right here. That is going to build us a forge burner. So uh, let me walk you through it. This is our cap on a quarter inch nipple here. That's what we're going to end up drilling and we'll tap that for the uh, welding tips, the MIG tips to tap into that. That goes into the top of this T, blah, blah, blah. I'll bring you over here. So we'll have, see here's the one we have now. This is our T, comes up, runs over to a fitting. But this one wasn't uh, all American like this one. I figured if I'm doing one on the American Piddler page, we're gonna use American parts. Look at that guys, hit that like button if you like USA parts. So here's just another quick look at our parts laid out and, and uh, kind of dry assembled so to speak and you can see we've got our welding tips in the middle. Here's a spot that uh, you may want to pause so you can get a good look at it and get the prices and the breakdown of the parts. Again, here's your tips and so let's start to build it. So what we first need to do is uh, kind of get our, our layout here and so I'm going to kind of mock this up and show you exactly how to build it. Let me set the camera down. Stop yakking so much and get a little more working done. So we have our, our T. It goes in. This is a one inch T so it's one inch, one inch and three quarter and this is a eight inch uh, three-quarter inch nipple try and keep this camera a little better for you eight inch three-quarter inch nipple down to a three-quarter inch to an inch and a quarter bell and that'll be your flame holder that's what holds the flame down here at the end of that so now on this part here this is where it gets interesting okay remember that quarter inch cap I had here's that quarter inch cap this cap actually gets welded in the center of this in this T and it will have our welding tip tapped into it we'll drill a three-quarter inch hole which just so happens that this fits in I may have to grind the uh, edges down a little bit we'll grind that hole and we'll weld this in place just like that okay and so we have your three inch quarter inch or a quarter inch nipple by three inches long we'll bring that up to a T or an elbow a 90 degree elbow and I used a three and a half inch nipple quarter inch and it goes to our quarter inch shutoff valve then I used a, a short nipple I think this is an inch and a half quarter inch nipple and I use another bell. This is a quarter inch to three eighths of an inch, and this gets us to our gas line size. So we get that put on. See that? And so this is three eighths to three eighths gas, or with the, the 
beveled edge so the gas fitting will seal up. And what we'll do, so this is kind of what it looks like. Let me get it spread out for you. And don't forget our tip there in the middle. So in this build, I'm gonna try an 023 tip. Um, I didn't have any. I have some 030 tips. We're gonna try a, a, an 023 tip and we'll see how it works. If I don't like it, we'll throw an 030 and I'll uh, make sure to tell you which one we use as we go along here. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll uh, take this and put us a flat spot on it, find center and drill a three quarter inch hole. So here we're just grinding that flat spot that I talked about onto the uh, the T, and that way we've kind of got a flat edge to work on when we're getting ready to drill it. What I did there, guys. Measured it. I got two and three quarters. Okay. Well, half of two is an inch, which there's our inch line, and half of three quarters is three eighths. So we went one, two, three eighths. We put us a mark there. Now we'll take our set here, just kind of eyeball it, get it close. Let's see if I can get out of the way of the camera. So, and when you guys do this, always pull your set back out before you strike it a second time. It will bounce on you. So, got us a little spot. Alright, so when we get moved over here, I always drill a smaller hole before we go to our bigger hole. So that's what you see here and add a little cutting fluid to it and make it a little easier. Uh, switch over to our three quarter inch Linux bit and uh, start to drill it out. Again, add a little bit of cutting fluid, which was a big mess, but I'd rather clean up a mess than uh, dull a bit that seems to work pretty well when you use it. Our T drilled here you can see that it's, it's fairly center I mean it, it looks pretty good really now we're going to take our cap that we got and our caps got to get set down inside of that but before we do that we're going to go ahead and drill and tap this and that's a quarter 28 uh, tap and you can find them pretty much anywhere uh, and that's what that thread matches up on that is a quarter 28 so we'll go ahead and do that again I'll use the set to uh, mark center and I'll probably do it down there in the inside I don't know if you can see or not but mark center and then we'll use the drill press to drill it out then we'll tap it I don't know if you can see that or not. It's hard to see with the naked eye, let alone with a camera. But quarter 28. Anyway, as you get started, you always want to go in and back out. Go in and back out. Uh, if you don't, you will break your, your, your tap. And I'm not going to be responsible for anything you do anyway. Because uh, I can't hardly take my own self anywhere but I use a little cutting oil whatever you want to call it uh, that make it a little easier for you in and out in and out in and out remember that when you're using a tap and uh, generally you you probably won't break anything in and out you can feel it like right there it's starting to cut so I'll go in a little bit and back it out and then back right there it's cutting so we'll go in a little bit and back it out and that's that's the biggest trick I can show you and we're through it now so we'll just go on till we're bottomed out where I hit the camera Whatever one comes first. 
bottom out and back all the way back out of it. And that's how you use a tap. I don't know if I got you where you can see anything or not. Now, come back over here. The MIG tips we've been talking about, we'll cut them open. Get in this. Get us one out. We'll check it. There you go. Just like that. By golly, we're starting to build something now. So anyway, we? we use our yellow pipe tape. Uh, this is our quarter inch by three inch nipple. And we're going to go put our cap on it. And we'll tighten it up. See what I like about this design is we can change that out if we don't like we don't like it. Uh, it is interchangeable. So and like I said, I don't know that this is really even gonna matter putting that tape on there because we're gonna remember how I told you that let's get all this out of the way put our knife up so you don't really cut your hand off uh, this didn't fit down in there so we'll take this over to the grinder round it off and uh, make it fit So, quick, simple, grind it down, and we'll get that in there like that. And now we're going to weld that just like that. Look at that, staying without welding. Here we just weld all the way around it. You want to make sure you get enough weld on there that it seals up. And uh, make sure you guys aren't using anything but black iron pipe here. It's it's not safe to weld galvanized or stainless. Just like that guys. See we want to change that tip out, take a new needle nose pliers and change it out. That's simple. Alright guys now we got pretty much all the fabrication work done. We uh we drilled that we welded it we tapped the cap I like the way that sounds, tap the cap. Anyway, so there's our tip. Uh, remember that was a, a 023 tip. So we'll see how that works out for us. And uh, now we're just going to put our pipe tape on the rest of everything and assemble our burner. And we'll just tighten things up as we go. I like the way that it looks aesthetically when it comes across the burner instead of being in line with the air holes so uh, you can see here how I've got it pointed that way I just like that look it doesn't really matter that's up to you So while we're here, remember this is a one inch T to a three quarter inch. So it's one, one, and three quarter. We drilled it up top. We put a quarter inch by three inch nipple in. We come to a quarter inch 90 degree turn. Okay. Let me see if I can get this camera to where you can see something. So we got our quarter inch 90 degree. Come in with another quarter inch by three and a half inches this time. I went three and a half. Just give us a little bit of extra distance. We're going to tighten these up as we go. All right, here's our quarter inch valve. And I 
like that to be on top when we get done here so Let's see if we can't get another turn out of this this is a quarter by one and a half inch nipple that uh, I didn't say in the video by the way guys I don't know if I've mentioned it yet or not but you do not want to use uh, the galvanized pipe when you do this uh we just you don't want that at all so don't don't use that only use the black iron pipe uh it's just healthier safer you know you're going to heat it up a bunch and uh you're welding on it just black iron pipe's the way to go this is a quarter inch to three eighths which quarter inch to three eighths bell okay Put this one on. Our last piece of the puzzle here will be the 3 8 to 3 8 but this is 3 8 to the gas line with the beveled in there, and this is 3 8 to go to that. And I think they call it like NPT or something like that. Uh, so on the part going towards the black line or the black black iron pipe okay on this end you still need you still need pipe tape on this end where it's it's got that bevel that actually seals it all right so we uh put our pipe tape on there we we don't put it on here and uh we'll add our bottom piece this doesn't have to be like crazy tight otherwise if it was i'd be using a pipe wrench right now there's that then we'll add our bell and if you've noticed from from up here from up here down I haven't uh, I haven't been using any pipe tape or dope or whatever you want to call it and this I just leave on loose because uh, on my other one I've got this all honed out right here uh, and we may do that on this one but we're ready to see if we've got a burner so here Here's our burner, guys. Just like that. We're going to get our propane line hooked up. Yeah, make sure you tighten everything up, guys. So, uh, here we go. keep doing it and I know I keep saying guys but I mean guys and gals we just keep doing it we're piddling around we're getting stuff done we just nailed it it's already done now you can tune it a little bit and adjust your flow and everything else again make sure you guys hit that like button share this video so other people can enjoy it it helps me it, it encourages me leave me a comment down below tell me what you like about it um, when you do it comment find me on facebook instagram twitter i'm there i'm there waiting for you guys and uh let's figure out our next project together god bless you thank you for watching